Yo, what's going on? Jan Moses here from Broth Cindy, bringing you an evening edition of the Blueprint series. Now, this episode shouldn't take too much time. We're currently in an intermission as of this recording, about six and a half minutes out from game three of the next gen 250K tournament finals between Ty Debo and Definitively. And I figured why not make a quick recording because, well, I really want to talk about these limited time locker codes, which for me are kind of nice because it's a flash from the past. You know, the locker codes, the way I remember them back when I used to play my team religiously in 2K15, 16, and 17, namely, um, where we would get limited quantity locker codes and it was, you know, first come, first serve, you know. PC Master Race, whatever you want to call it, you know, whoever had blue stacks back in the day usually came out on top. Um, I don't have any of those things anymore. I actually downloaded the app today, the NBA 2K22 app, to give myself a shot for the latter, I guess, four or five locker codes, because the LeBron, I did not see coming, obviously. I was actually mid-workout when I got the Nodi, and I didn't even bother trying for it, because... The minute I read limited quantity in the tweet, I knew there was no chance, but I had no evening plans tonight. I wanted to just take it easy today, and I'm pretty glad I did because if you see right here, we have a locker code that we won from the stream for a power within Kawhi Leonard. Um, Which is pretty crazy. I mean, look, I know that there are going to be many people in the community that find this method of giving out player items unfair. And I hear you. I really don't think there is one optimal way to give out these kind of players. You know, like the uh, Galaxy Opal Kyrie Irving that we got from All-Star Weekend was great. And it lasted, what, nine days? Um, And I apologize if you hear the cop car in the background. Um, But... Going back to the locker codes tonight, the Kawhi Leonard wasn't the only player that I received. You can see here that I got three of the six players. I'm just going to close my window. This is pissing me off. I'm not going to let the New York City cops hold me back from greatness right here. I mean, not counting the LeBron, I think I got the three players out of the five that I wanted the most. You know, the Dark Matter Shaq, I don't really care for. And Dark Matter Kobe, like, Kobe's great, don't get me wrong. I'm in the minority in this, I know. But I have never been good with any Kobe Bryant card in my my team career. The one exception was Onyx Kobe from 2K15. And even then, that card's release was just so off-putting for me that I just struggled to hit with him consistently. So I got the players that I really wanted. And we're going to start with Tracy McGrady. I know there are a lot of people that will say that the Dark Matter Kobe is better than Dark Matter Tracy McGrady. And while that may be true... Dark Matter Tracy McGrady is a player that I would rather have over that Kobe because as I've said approximately 117 times on this channel, I'm treating this like my last year of my team. And as such, I want to get players who I've enjoyed using in my my team career. And one of those players is Tracy McGrady. You know, if you look at his diamond card in 2K17, I really believe that Diamond T-Mac that we got in the latter half of 2K17's lifespan was one of the first cards ever to come into my team who kind of changed the game for good. He was the first player that I could really think of that wasn't a point guard at least that would consistently hit threes from well past the three-point arc or well beyond the three-point arc, I should say. Um, And I feel like from that moment on, my team was kind of changed um or changing into the game that it's now unfortunately developed into which you're now seeing you know d rob for example can get limitless spot up and you know patrick ewing can get limitless spot up and it's like unrealistic but whatever it's a fantasy mode right i can't really complain um let's move on to the next card here in luka Doncic, a player who i have never used in my team And I know that this card is a better card to use on next gen, and I'm playing on current gen PlayStation. Um, But 
I still think he's a really, really good card. And, you know, I've had a lot of good point guards of this year. You know, I love my Pink Diamond Gary. I love my Pink Diamond Jeremy Lin. You know, I have that Opal Shade Gilders Alexander who's okay and the Opal Kyrie who's pretty damn good. But I'm pretty bad with dribbling with the both of those players. And I just got the John Morant card. And Ja is good, don't get me wrong. But... Luka Doncic is going to be the first card that I've had on my team that has significant size at the point guard spot and can shoot the ball. So I'm really excited to get to try this card out in clutch time in the coming days. And then last but not least is a player that I already have that I bought for 350k, maybe 340k two weeks or so ago. Um, and that is this beautiful man, Dark Matter, Kawhi Leonard. Um, I'm just happy to have an original owner version of him. Um, Kawhi also is like a low-key member of that group of my team players that I really enjoyed using. Back in 2K16, the last time we had dynamic ratings, I believe, prior to this year, the Kawhi Leonard dynamic rating card um, was an amethyst that just played out of his mind. I mean, I love that card. I could not find a reason to take him off my team. I mean, I benched him, I'm pretty sure, towards the end of my 2K16 days, but I can never fully get rid of him. He just played well beyond his stats. And this Dark Matter Kawhi, in these first like 10 days or so since I've gotten him, um, has reminded me a lot of that Kawhi Leonard from 2K16. Um, so now here we go. Um, we're going to go ahead and swap out this dark matter Kawhi, i guess for mine because you know almost sold them for 3000 mt could you believe that i would have had to rage quit this upload um i also want to quickly check i did put a bid on a d rob that uh had a badge that i really liked i got a bid that's fine um all good in the hood um so you can see we're sitting at just over 1.2 mil mt uh, let's take a quick look at the lineup right now. I think I have to kind of add a couple of pieces. Um, so let's just for right now, as much as I love Gary, we are going to move Gary here because I can never remove Gary from my lineup unless I absolutely have to. Let's move Luca into the starting five. And I think as of right now, uh, and we're actually going to also replace um, Yi. I'm going to actually remove Yi completely from the lineup because I love Jokic just too much. I'm watching Ty Debo throw up gang signs right now. I'm a little terrified, to be honest. But we packed Tim Duncan from the challenge pack, which is pretty damn cool. Tim Duncan also, I hate to like keep saying this over and over again, another player who, when I think back on my My Team career, um, I have kind of fond memories of because I believe in 2K17, Pink Diamond Tim Duncan was the Road to the Playoffs um, final reward. And I remember back in... I think it was like December of 2016 when um, that Pink Diamond Tim Duncan reward was revealed. There was a weird glitch that was going on where you could basically glitch your way to the final tier or whatever. Um, I will not say whether or not I engaged with that glitch, but I will say that I definitely know people that did do it um, within my, at the time, my inner circle of my team pals. And all of us ended up getting the um the tim duncan i just saw there's one more locker code coming which is great i will say right now i have no idea what, what it's going to be obviously um i had a feeling that we were going to get kobe bryant but i thought that when we had one left that they were going to go with dark matter kareem i think kareem makes the most sense either kareem or steph curry to me makes a lot of sense i know they just came out on friday but why not i mean i think if they were going to go with one of them, I think Steph makes more sense because he's cheaper than um, than Kareem. And I'll, I'll be okay with you know either if I get a chance to get either. But I prefer Kareem, obviously. I'd love to have that Kareem card. Um, but anyways, getting back to my lineup here really, really briefly. Um, I think this is going to be my starting five as of now, pending you know, anything dramatic happening like them dropping a Kareem locker code later on tonight at the end of that game and me getting him or, you know, me maybe adding Patrick Ewing. Because if I get Patrick Ewing, I'm probably going to put D-Rob at the four and Ewing at the five or vice versa. I love this Tim Duncan card, though. He is great. And 
I may just rock with this for now because this is also the more, you know, cost effective lineup because I packed Tim Duncan from a free challenge, meaning I spent zero MT on him. And Patrick Ewing is still upwards of 175 to 200K MT. Um, so this is my starting five. Um, I just love this RJ card. I can't get him out of my starting lineup. Even if you say Ray Allen or maybe Cam Bredis are better, I would just say to kindly leave me alone and let me play who I want to use. It's called my team for a reason, and I want to use RJ Barrett. Um, off the bench right now, I mean, this John Moran card is great. I will say I played against someone today in clutch time who had Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. And that Dwayne Wade card at point guard is a problem an absolute problem when i say that that card seemingly would let me dribble around him and then on the way to the basket would get the nastiest chase down block animations on me like i've never felt like an opposing point guard was toying with my john Morant card more so than that Dwayne wade card did uh, did so I'm definitely very much looking at that card. I looked at his defensive ratings, and the only thing better than his defensive ratings, in my opinion, are his defensive tendencies. Those look absolutely cracked. Um, so I really want that card really badly. Um, one thing I will say, going back to my starting lineup very, very briefly, the only card that will eventually lead to R.J. Barrett leaving my starting lineup and going to the bench is going to be Dark Matter Kevin Durant. He's going to come out, I'm sure of it. I believe every single season so far, we've gotten one incredible promo with top-end cards that usually comes within the last two weeks or so of the season. That would line up for next Friday, I believe, or the following Friday. I believe one of those next two Fridays, we're going to get Kevin Durant. I don't really think that's that much of a hot take. KD is the... I guess the top end player of the uh, power within season. You can see he's in the you know far back in front of Rui Hachimura and Paolo Banchero. So I think we're gonna get a dark matter KD this season. I think that's you know what the majority of the community believes, and I think that dark matter KD card again, not a hot take, is gonna be freaking incredible, and he's probably gonna be able to play shooting guard. But regardless. Even if he can't, I will move Kawhi Leonard to the two, and I will put Kevin Durant here, and that will just be a phenomenal lineup to run um, online. For the time being, though, this is my starting five. Off the bench, like I said, John Morant. Fantastic card still. Ray Allen, he's a lot of fun. I know some people don't like his release. I've used him only in a handful of games, so I guess I don't have a ton of experience with him. But he's really damn good as well. Um, I like him. My bench, small forward, power forward, and center are where it gets really, really tricky. Because, again, as I mentioned, Patrick Ewing, you know, I was debating getting him to put him at the power forward or the center spot, but I just got Tim Duncan. I don't know if I want to really go and get Ewing right now. Um, you know, if his price was close to 100K, I would have definitely coughed, but I just can't spend 200K on that card right now. And that Kareem is quite interesting. You know, um, I know the big hype around that Kareem has to do with the Kobe escape. And I don't even know what a Kobe escape is. Um, but I do know that that Kareem card is really damn good. And I was hoping that he would drop Patrick Ewing's price. And he did not. So, you know, we'll see if, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, 2K is kind enough to give us a Kareem locker code and... My thumbs are blessed enough to, you know, not make a typo. And I'm physically watching the stream when they drop the locker code. If all the stars align and I get Kareem, maybe Kareem comes off the bench. Maybe maybe we start D-Rob. That could be a whole separate video that I do in a week or so if I do another lineup update. Um, but for the time being, we'll just say that Jokic would technically be my bench center. And then I guess my bench power forward. Like, we'll you know, we'll do this right now. So Jokic should be the bench five. Andre Kirlink would be my 11th man. And then uh, we'll put Yi over here. And now Reggie Lewis, he is great. Don't get me wrong. But I just think I have to go with T-Mac here for right now. So we will have Gary Payton, Tracy McGrady, and Andre 
Kirilenko. I don't believe there's anyone else I really want to throw in here. Um, yeah, I don't think so. So I guess that's it. That's my lineup. Those are my new players. Again, power within Kawhi, power within Luka Doncic, and uh, uh, all-star T-Mac. All of all of them are dark matters. We got Again, we got three of the six. I missed the LeBron because I had no idea he was coming. I missed the Shaq because, I mean, I didn't really go for Shaq. Um, and I did try to go for the Kobe, um, but I messed up one of the letters, and then I didn't really care because, again, like I said, like, I suck with Kobe anyways. I would much rather have this T-Mac card anyways. Obviously, it looks like, you know, I'm a... Uh, it looks like I'm trolling, I guess, in a way. Like, I'm not salty at all. I'm very happy that I got three of the six players. And if I don't get the final locker code and I end up with just three of the seven, I'm still really happy because the number of people I saw in the 2K stream chat saying that they went 0 for 6, um, I believe those guys more than I believe the guys saying that they got every single one. So... Anyways, <clears throat> that is the video. I know I said I was not going to make this a long one. I was trying to get this video done before the third game between Ty Debo and Definitively started. And now we have a minute left in the first quarter. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys get a chance, um, try to go for that last, uh, that last player. This video is probably going to be uploaded after that stream ends. So, um, you know... I'm not going to tell you to go and watch the stream, I guess, because it'll be over by the time this video is up. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. And until next time, I'll see you later.